Hey guys, Mitch here. Today I'll be showing you how to use your MacBook keyboard to type on your iPad via Bluetooth. Now this is done via a Mac Store application known as iKeyboard, and although the price point is $9.99, it is a lot cheaper than buying an external keyboard for your iPad. So once you have the application downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up, and it will unveil an on-screen keyboard for your Mac. Now we will have to make this discoverable with our iPad, so you can head over to the Bluetooth settings, click Discoverable, and then we will have to head over to our iPad to connect the devices together. So on your iPad, head over to the Bluetooth settings, and once your device has been discoverable, you can go ahead and click on it, and it will be connected together. Now I will be using the Notes application here to type out my messages, but you can use third-party apps as well as they will be compatible. Now as I type out the messages using my MacBook keyboard, they will correspond directly to the on-screen iKeyboard and then be sent over to my iPad via Bluetooth. Now I use this process when typing out what to say for my YouTube videos and then read directly from my iPad for those videos. Now this also has button functionality on the on-screen keyboard as well. So you can go to your home screen, you can search, you can change your language. You also have the Apple logo to add to your messages. And you also have the ability to unlock and lock your device. Although you physically will have to slide over that um, button to gain full access to your iPad. And last but not least is the volume rockers of increasing, decreasing, and the mute switch as well. Now, although you might not be using this process to type out messages for YouTube videos, you could be using this if you type a lot of messages on your iPad and don't want to use the on-screen keyboard, but rather use your MacBook keyboard and type out the messages directly to your iPad. So the two devices will have to be close together for the Bluetooth settings to work, but if you do type out a lot of emails, iMessages, just messages in general, this process might be for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.